So, as you all know, I only craft for personal use, but I know lots of you craft for business. And one of the big questions I see asked all the time is how do I create and then export a mock up in Design Space? So, I'm going to show you how to do that today, but it doesn't just have to be a mock up. You may make a lovely design that you want to share on social media, and you want to be able to export that as a picture and then a upload it up to any social media platform as an image and I'm going to show you how you can do that today. So the first thing you need to do if you're doing a mock-up is to take a photo of your blank. So I find the best way to do it is on a bird's eye view. So you want to take it above your item. And I place my item on the floor and I always place it on a white background. So for example, I just use some wallpaper rolls that I've got and they've all got white backs to them. And I place the blank item on the white background and then I take a photo from above. And it just gives a whole view of the item. And I just think it's really easy to work with. So once you've taken your photo and you've uploaded it to your computer, we're then able to upload it to Design Space. So we need to go to Upload and then Upload Image, Browse. And you'll see here I've got a picture of a makeup bag, so I'm just going to open it. And I'm going to save it as a complex image so that everything remains the same in the picture. And I'm going to go to continue. And this is where the white background really makes things easy. Because it's just one colour, you're able to erase it as much as you can, as quickly as you can. And normally you'll do it in one click. And it just makes life a lot easier. Now you may find that you end up with some uh, shadow edges, but that's fine. I would just leave those. So we're then going to go to continue. And we're going to save it as a print and cut image so it keeps it exactly as our photo. And again, we're going to go to save. Once our image has been uploaded, we're able to insert it to our canvas. We're then able to size our image. And then you can get your design, whether it's an SVG or it's a design that you've made or it's an image from Design Space. You can change it, you can play with the colours, you can do whatever you need to do with it. And then we're going to arrange it to front. And then we're just going to place it on top of our image. And then you can play with it and work out exactly how you want it to look. So in terms of colour options, you've got two choices really. You can either just have a flat colour and go through and pick your colours out, or you can do a pattern fill. So with a pattern fill, you take a picture of your vinyl or your iron-on, or whatever it is you're going to use, and you'll take your picture the same way we have with our blank, and then we upload it to Design Space. So I'm going to go to Upload, and we're going to go to Upload Pattern. I'm going to go to Browse, and then we can go in and find the picture of your vinyl or your iron-on. Now this isn't an actual picture that I've taken, it's just a picture that I found on the internet, but it's not a picture of an actual vinyl. But you just would take the picture the way that you do with your blank. So we're going to save the pattern name exactly as it is, and we're going to go to save. So our pattern's uploaded, so we can go back to our mat. So we need to change everything to print at this stage so that we can put our pattern fill in. Now, if you're going to do lots of different layers with your vinyl or your iron-on, you'll obviously need to go through and individually change each layer to the pattern that you want it to be. But I'm just going to weld this for now. I'm just going to have everything as one complete layer. So I'm going to go up to my colour area and I'm going to go to print and I'm going to go to patterns 
and you'll see that my uploaded pattern comes straight up but there's so many patterns in here there's so many fills that you can use so I'm just going to click on it and you'll see it's then come up with our glitter effect and you'll be able to do that for all your vinyl and iron-ons and it's just a nice quick easy way to be able to show a realistic picture of what you're going to be making I'm then going to go up to my little toggle in the corner of my canvas and I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to change my canvas grid from full grid to no grid and this is then going to give us a complete white background. So I'm going to make sure that none of my area is selected so I don't want anything to be selected at all. So I'm then going to go down to my search bar and I'm going to start typing in snipping tool and I'm then going to go to new and I'm just going to drag a box around my image. I'm then able to save this. So I'm just going to save it as bag one. And it will now be saved as a JPEG image. So if we come into my picture folder and I then click it, you'll then see that I've got a great looking image. It's a fantastic mock-up. I'm able to put in my vinyl or my iron-on as a pattern fill. And it just gives a really realistic view of what your item is going to look like. And you can do this for yourself. If you're not sure how things are going to look, it's really easy to do. And you also do the exact same thing. If you want to take a image that you've made in design space and put it up on social media you're going to use exactly the same steps to bring our grid back all I'm going to do is go back up to my toggle I'm going to go to settings and I'm going to click on full grid and this will then bring our grid back for us as always I hope this tutorial has been informative please do subscribe and I'll see you all again soon